Kitabu cha Jeremiah 33 fungu la tatu ni kitabu ambacho kinakupa we Mkristo uhakikisho kwamba kila unapomuita Mwenyezi Mungu katika maombi basi na atakusikia na atakuonyesha mambo makuu ambayo hujayaona katika maisha yako. Leo hii tuko katika street za Nakuru. Oginga Oginga Street. Na tunajaribu kujua umuhimu wa maombi katika maisha yetu ni upi. Jina langu ni Brian Kennedy na nitakuelekeza kujua maoni ya waumini kuhusu swala hili. Na vile vile, kumbuka unatupata katika upande wa Facebook wa Zito TV, YouTube wa Zito TV na vile vile upande wa Instagram wa Zito underscore TV underscore channel. Ebu na tusikize kutoka kwa umini wenzetu. Hapa basi tunaweza kuungana na ndugu mmoja na ataweza kutueleza jina lake na yeye ufanya nini katika Anakuru City na pia kanisa lake ni lipi. Kwa majina ni Jo Anthony Wafula ama nickname ni Jo Hanto. Mimi ni Nax ni Jo mi nakonga hapa nje hiyo na na chopia jona. Alafu mimi ishia kanisa mimi ishia kanisa na Jita PCA la net. Eh. Okay. Katika swali letu la leo Tungependa utueleze kwamba we kama Kristo eh, maombi yana umuhimu gani katika maisha ya Mkristo? Hai maombi iko na impact kubwa sana mzee. Maombi jo azin azika uko na shida alafu uombe wewe we na wewe tatulika. Ama sema una face difficulty hivi uombe alivyo kila kitu inakuwa kiti. Eh unajua Mungu Mungu kwa jua anakusikia hata hata uombe aje hata kanti moyo moyo inafika na na inatatuliwa eh yeah. okay. yeah. eh jo leo bado swali maswali mengi kabisa uh, islam je wajua islam ni nini islam ni nini a islam a islam sene ile waislamu wa wao wenyewe wanavaa wa, wa mama wanavaa ile hijab alafu wana wanaume wana, wana wanavaa kanzu alafu mi ujua huo na Abdu Muhammad ama kitu kama hiyo. Eh azini Muhammad ndo kai Yesu wao. Alafu Mungu Mungu ana muta ala. Baka kuna. Alafu wao sali mara siku tano kwa siku. Kitu kama hiyo ndo ndizo na mtu mimi najua. Okay. Eh maji. Je, ulikuwa unajua kwamba Islam ni mtu yote ambaye uh, amejidedicate kufanya Mungu kazi. Eh hey, hey, jubile huwa wanaomba hiyo mara tano kwa siku. Si ati nini au amejidedicatea. Eh hey, mate. Na tukisema kwamba Yesu alikuwa Muislamu, tutakosea kweli? Ah hapo hapo sasa si. Lagi Yesu alikuwa Muislamu. Ni ile azini mimi unajua mimi nilipata nikiwa Mkristo. So mimi nime najua Yesu alikuwa Mkristo ni nini? Hasa pia mtu mwenye amejipata kuwa Muislamu, ya yeah, believe hivyo na mimi nimepata Yesu. Nimepata Yesu azini azina kwa mkristo mimi hivyo ndo nabelevu yes it is i think uh, jina mkristo inatokea kutokana na Yesu Kristo yeah. yani mfuasi wa Yesu kumaanisha kwamba uh, before Yesu hakukuwa na ukristo hapa ba nimekosea ama niko sawa kulingana na maoni yako ah uh, mimi naweza sema aje mm-hmm. uh, yes azin hakukuwa nile Mungu tu alituma Kristo akuje ndio sasa tufollow hiyo Christianity. 
jo tulikuwa tunapotea so mechi Yesu alikamo kuturudisha ile bond flani alikamo kuturudisha karibu na Mungu okay. eh, na hapo kwa comment section basi acha nijue kwamba wewe maoni yako ni yapi kuhusu maswali haya ambayo nimeuliza Johancho Johancho sasa ukimaliza maybe eh, shout out zako kwa muumini pale hivi mwenye mnashiriki naye katika kanisa lenu ah uh, Simo Trapa kuna fan kuna madem madem wengi madem kwanza ni kuna Shiro pale eh yeah, madem wengi tu kwa jumla madem wote wa PCS okay. eh yeah, maze Gafiel na western no party western twende ate Tumezama tume drown ndani ya dhambi na shangaa tumesahau ndani ya baba tamoa sale usipake umenuna sasa wiki tunasukuma utakubali ndo true love ukileta beef tutakula maisha yako wa karamo wangu mbio papara washa tadhambi karasho moyo konje sanga okay so tunaongana na nani hapa kujana bila zizali bado Abdulaziz Abdulaziz yeah. okay wewe ni wenye imani gani ama faith yako religion yako ni ipi obviously si yote yana familia muslim muslim yeah. okay so kumekuwa na discussion kwenye internet kwa kwa Yesu alikuwa muislamu ah uh, maoni yako ni yapi katika hili ndio mimi nakubaliana na wewe kwa muislamu tu za kubali Yesu alikuwa muislamu Eh, sote wamkubaliani kwa kujua. Okay. Uh, Ebu tupatie insight kidogo kuhusu hilo jambo. Ya la Yesu kwa Muislamu. Yesu kwa Islamu ilianza kitambo. Na Muislamu ilianza kitambo azin. Adam wa prophet walikuwa walikuwa Waislamu. Muislamu ni mtu anaabudu Mwenyezi Mungu, anafuata mafunzo yake. Sasa ukiambia mtu ni Christian washa Christian Yesu alileta Christian. So before before Jesus from ina kuku wa Christian ti basi. Ndio hizi Christian Christianity na maisha follow of Christ. Christ yeah. Na unaambia kwa Kristo kwa kwanza before Jesus akuko na followers wa Christian, akuko na kwa jita Christian. Ah. Okay. Wow, it's been so instrumental kwa kwa wewe mwenye una view pale. Maybe a shout out kwa wale wenye unashiriki nao katika muziki. Amen zambia endele kwa bidii. Ah, wewe endele kuswali. Hata hiyo ni ni wajib ni lazima na ni must kwa kila muziki. You can kill the prophet but you can't kill the prophecy zaga. <laughs> Them call me MC Shiz, eh? No, I say. You better know right now. Repent, Father God, know you better. Repent, my sister, my brother, better. Repent, you better, you better know more. Let them repent. You better know right now. Repent, Father God, know you better. Repent, my sister, my brother, better. Repent, you better, you better know more. Let them repent. Me no take no weed, me no take no liquor. Me a do that weed is a killer. Killing people, them pan deliver. Hey, you agree by that? So me call Jesus, them pan the speaker. Pan the mic, you're me pan the beat. Ah, you better turn now, you better turn now. If you was in heavy, then I turn now. Salama, for Jesus, salama. Atunonga na hapa basi na ndugu moja na tayeza kujueleza yeni nani. Na umuhimu wa maombi ni upi? Kwa machina naitwa Julius Kichana Makoli. Natoka natoka katika kaunti ya Nyamira. Na sasa ninafanyia hapa na Kurundo katika hali ya kutafuta. E, kitu yenye mimi naasa nikasema maombi ni muhimu. Maombi ni kifunguo. Maombi ndio kila kitu. Maana hii maombi ndio huo unapata kuna chambo unapata mambo inakuwa magumu lakini kupitia kwa maombi ma, unapata ma, yale mambo yenye uko na kufikiria inakuwa magumu inakuwa ni rahisi kuna yatakuwa na inakuwa ni rahisi so kwa ile kitu yenye mimi huwa naweza nikaambia wasangi wale wenye awamini prayer is so powerful so powerful 
so maombi nayo kila mtu acha ajitaiti aombe hata kama utapita pale ukipita njiani una Yesu akatoa kofia unaambia Mungu asante maana yeye ndo anakufanya nini yeye ndo anakulinda I'm a living testimony mimi nimefahamiwa mara mbili lakini ninakuambia kulingana na uwepo na uwezo wa Mungu nimefanya nini nime nime nimeepuka hayo kulingana juu hata mimi mwenyewe nashindwa eh nimetoka kwa watu wangapi watatu mara ya kwanza walikuwa watu wangapi wawili nimefahamiwa nikatungwa kizu lakini nimefanya nini nikatoka huko Mungu amenitoa huko na kufika hapa unapata watu wanakufahamia lakini kulingana na ile maombi mimi sina uwezo lakini Mungu anafanya nini Mungu ananitoa katikati ya gisa kwa watu ambao wamechihami na mimi sina chochote so Mungu ni mwema na maombi ndo kila maombi ndo kifungo cha kila chochote Yeah. ni ushuhuda ambao ni mfano kabisa kwa mtu ambaye anafanya maombi mtu ambaye anamwamini Mungu na kuwasiliana naye katika maombi tumeshukuru sana kwa wakati wako asante yeah. okay, so utaanza na kujintroduce kisha utuambie umuhimu wa maombi ni upi mimi Thomas Uduoro na umuhimu ya, ya maombi nikuuliza roho za watu roho za, za watu vile kama saa hii Kenya im, 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 uchumi uchumi imekuwa mbaya sasa maombi ni, ni mzuri na tuliza roho za watu eh okay. na maybe swali langu la pili wanasema kwamba Yesu alikuwa Muislamu ni kweli ama wewe ni yako ni yapi hapana ni uongo <laughs> hiyo ni, ni propaganda Yesu ni ni mimi mimi na wasema ni wa Roma eh si 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 muislamu kabisa hapo ni ni kudanganyana okay Tunaungana na ndugu mmoja hapa atatueleza yeye ni nani na anafanya nini na kuru kisha atueleze umuhimu wa maombi ni upi. Okay, kwa majina naitwa Gordon. Nashukuka na kasi kwa kasi ya jua kali. Umuhimu wa maombi kumwamini Mwenyezi Mungu ili akujalie kila kitu tunaweka maombi leo. Okay. So uh, swali langu la pili maybe pasta hivi. Eh, kumekuwa na discussion kwamba Yesu alikuwa Muislamu. Ma- maoni yako ni yapi katika hilo? Kuandika Mwenyezi Mungu hamna mnaandika kwamba Yesu alikuwa Muislamu. Hiyo ni maneno ya watu na maoni ya watu. Okay. Tunashukuru sana kwa wakati wako. Uwe na siku njema. Tumeweza kuungana tena na ndugu mmoja atatueleza yeye ni nani, anashiriki wapi? Naam, um, kale machoko magati watu wananijua kama machogu magati Mount Kenya University yeah as it before that I'm machogu magati people know me as machogu magati a leader from Mount Kenya University and also I'm only machogu magati so that's all about me okay so uh, today we are discussing like tunaongelea umuhimu wa maombi katika maisha ya mwanadamu hebu na uelimisho huu mtazamaji wangu umuhimu wa maombi Yes, it's a, it's a good uh, doctrine about ni umuhimu wa maombi. Maombi ni gumzo ama ni uti wa mgongo katika binadamu. With prayers you can go far. With prayers you can be inspired in every time in every step that you make in life. So with prayers people go far. I personally am um, can just testify that with these prayers I'm growing health in Christ with these prayers. Because in every time that I go to down my knees, I pray to my God. My God always hears me. The, all the prayers and all the objectives that I pray in every day. Yeah. Okay. So like a uh, question yangu ya pili. Kumekuwa na discussion kwenye upande wa TikTok kwamba Yesu alikuwa Muislamu. Maoni yako ni yapi katika hili? Uh, maoni yangu katika wana TikTok, you know in TikTok every person comes with every ideology ile kitu ambayo anajisikia yeye mwenyewe kusema in the bible referring from the book of uh, luke when you read st luke hata kule primary tulikuwa tunasoma st luke in uh, cre christian religious education yesu the birth of jesus took place at the manger and that the manger is bethlehem 
unapata Bethlehem hakukuwa na waya, na Waislamu bado tunapata Waislamu wametokea kutoka the, the, the Ishmael the Ishmael the Abraham hapo ndio chanzo cha Waislamu tuseme kama the, the Ishmael ya hapo ndio tunaanza kuangalia Waislamu wanakuja so before Waislamu wakuje Yesu alikuwa baada Yesu alikuwa before before okay. wakuje bado Yesu alikuwa so like uh, Joseph alikuwa man, Joseph baba ya Yesu alikuwa ma, mtoto wa nani a Joseph baba ya Yesu <laughs> some questions in the bible they are rhetorical lakini ukisema Yusufu tuna Yusufu yule wa Jacob lakini Yusufu huyu mmoja we are told that rhetorical questions such in the bible that have no answer like ulizie mtu Mungu ametoka wapi ndipo nasema ya kwamba Yusufu huyu mmoja na Mary ni roho mtakatifu ambapo ndio tunapata the background is all about the whole spirit that got us okay yes so powerful man thank you for your time i've enjoyed your time asante sana asante sana ndugu watambua mtandao wa kiroho tuliopewa na bwana yesu maombi mtandao tuliopewa na bwana moja kwa moja tuwasiliane Yeah that has been it maze tumekuja to the end of the show imekuwa ni awesome sana maze acha tujue your testimony pale kwenye comment section from vile vile tujue like uh, what's the importance of prayer how do you understand prayer pale kwenye comment section imekuwa hapo Brian Kennedy na show imekuwa ni supernatural beings unatupata pale YouTube wazito TV Facebook wazito TV Instagram wazito underscore TV underscore official kisha mambo yanakuwa ni nywe Nimeenjoy uh, sana kuwa nawe katika show. Bye bye until next time. Wazito TV enable the future of humanity.